What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Nesson Studios. Michaela Vernava joined via Skype by John Campbell, our sports analyst for oddshark.com. John, December football officially underway. Um, how is the winter treating you guys so far? Well, it's getting a little colder, a little colder. We always miss the summer a little bit more this time of year, but no snow yet, so we won't complain. I guess actually technically it's not winter, but I don't know, December, it's the holiday season, and this is when football really gets exciting. Um, for this week, I want to start with the Vikings-Panthers game and see who you think is the best bet for this one. Well, I, I think the Vikings are the best bet here, and I've been loving them for the past several weeks here. They're uh, one of the only teams that's been good to me in the NFL this year, and betters are finally starting to catch on. I've been saying for weeks, take the Vikings when the spreads are small, and we have another small one here. They opened as one-point favorites at Carolina, and betters quickly bet them up to minus two-and-a-half-point favorites. The Vikings are now 31 and 10 against the spread in the last 41 games when they're set anywhere from a three point favorite to a three point underdog. And this defense is really playing so well for them. A huge reason why they keep covering spreads. I will take your word for it this week because I have to admit that the last time you gave me advice, which was last week on a small spread, I went against what you said. I picked the Eagles and that didn't work out too well for me. Obviously the Seahawks <laughs> won. Um, oh, but well, speaking oh, of the Eagles. You won't, you won't hurt my feelings because uh, you started off uh, pretty successfully in the NFL this, this year and I didn't, so I don't blame you there. <laughs> well, speaking of the Eagles, they are still obviously a really hot team right now and going against another NFC division leader in the Rams this week. Who are you taking in that matchup? I think that's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a really good game, I think. And, and I'm leaning toward the Rams here, laying or getting two and a half points at home. Really interesting line here. This couldn't be much tougher, a much tougher schedule spot for the Eagles. Two West Coast games. They just played Seattle in the Sunday nighter. Now they got to play a very good Rams team. Two West Coast games against teams in playoff contention. Doesn't get too much tougher than that in a two-week stretch in the NFL. So I'm actually leaning to the Rams here. I think their, their offense can do enough to beat this Eagles defense. I think we'll see a lot of sharp money come in on the Rams here as well as a really good home dog. As I was just talking about the Seahawks and Russell Wilson's carrying that team. They are looking pretty hot right now. Eight and four going against the Jaguars who are also eight and four. I feel like this game's tough to pick as well. Really tough game. These two, these two teams match up really well. And uh, Jags getting three, which I think is the right line. I don't think this line will move uh, up to kickoff at all. We might see some Seattle money. Uh, I think we'll see some betters buy into them after the win over the Eagles. They're getting a little bit healthier. But the Jags have such a good defense. They're, they're better against the rush than they are against the pass, and Seattle's more a passing team. So that's going to be a really interesting matchup in, in this one. But I think with the Jags at home, I'm leaning that way. But I think it is going to be a field goal game. I think this is a really sharp line. All right, John, thanks as always for the advice, and we'll check in next week. Thanks, Michaela.